Hey, friends. We see the supplies. It can only mean one thing. Swatching some inks. Hooray, hooray. I love ink swatching. You know, I know some people, like, hate it and hate seeing other people do it for some reason. But to them, I say, don't watch. Move on. This is my jam. So I've got some call o ring cards. Um, let me grab a stack here. I have my Hobonichi Weeks. Some of these thingies right here. Uh, let me pre-wet this paintbrush. And several bottles of ink. So what happened is, um, I was sick and it was late. No, um, I saw somebody using a pink ink that had a lot of shading. I think it was Amanda and the ink was psychedelic magenta. And I was like, wait, how do I not have any shading inks that are pink? So obviously there was but one thing to do. And that was to acquire many inks that are shading and pink. We're going to swatch some of them. Okay, all of them. So, let's go. Uh, I feel like the lighting is awkward. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Um, I've got this Okoro. I'm going to, like, not use it this time, though. I'm just going to use the normal, usual things because I'm feeling real tired. Let's bring us closer. Up first, we'll do pink from Diamine. Because why not? Start basic with an ink named pink. This is not the pink for me. It's a bit warm for my taste. Almost orangey and um, word thingy. Fluorescent, there's like a glow about it. I don't think I have anything like this though. So I like that aspect of it. Boy, this thing is really full. I don't have any of my uh, other coloring cards here. And my partner's in the next room doing work things. So I'm not going to go disturb him. So no comparisons for now. That's okay. Yeah, this is called pink, but it's very orangey, peachy to my eyes. Like, fascinating. You know what it reminds me of a lot is Salmon Glow. My um, Franklin Kristoff Salmon Glow pen. That's actually... I mean, maybe this is the ink for it, you know? Maybe we just found its perfect fill. <laughs> Dang it, I didn't, it's fine. Come here and do this. I am mine. And automatic pen. And it's too bad that this automatic pen isn't good for the swatch cards because so much easier to clean than a paintbrush. 
Ooh, that sounds awful. This actually reminds me a bit of when I tried to dye some fabric. I wanted a, a, a slightly warmer pink than the plain pink dye alone gave me. So I added a little bit of um, yellow. And what resulted is like much like this, how in some spots you can see it is pink. Maybe you can see that right at the edges. But then it was almost like a haze of orange over it. I don't know. It was really fascinating. Well, to me, maybe not to you. Um, next up, claret. I love a good claret. There's a surprise. A red wine that Maria likes. I'm going to have to burn this. This isn't, I mean, I didn't expect something named Claret to be like pink. Just that family, because Claret is a wine. So, today has been a, an interesting day. I've been having problems getting like lightheaded or dizzy. And so, I had to take a break and, uh, work from my couch for a bit because that was necessary. Um, I was very thankful that that was an option for me. Holy cow, I love this so much. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Go up there. And then um, tomorrow I'm doing a let's play for work. Um, and what I really want to do is like make sure I'm set up in a point which makes the let's play feasible. So I'm going to have to play some more. But I, can't, I don't know if I'm really up to sitting at my computer right now. We'll see. You have to play games for work. It's kind of an interesting situation. Not a bad day. This is like a magenta... But it looks like may have some good shading to it based on some of what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> Beautiful. And what do we want after a nice claret? Merlot. Because <laughs> why not? I love Merlot. It's a shame that that movie made it like unfashionable. I haven't seen it still. And I guess the funny thing is about people like not drinking Merlot after the movie, my understanding is they took away exactly the opposite of 
what the hope was is like I think it was like this pretentious guy who didn't know anything and like it was him that was like oh, I don't like Merlot and they were like trying to show that he didn't know anything and, and yet people were like oh taking notes no Merlot um I guess the lesson really learned is most people do not understand subtext and or were not taught the same sort of critical thinking that I was taught in my English classes when you're reading the between the lines in a lot of these classic novels. Um, but you can't expect people to know things or do things that they were never taught, so. This is an interesting color. It's very like wine-y for sure. Although what's funny is to me, actual wine uh, has frequently dried down to more of a purple. This is great. Honestly, right now like this, it reminds me a lot of blood too. Cheery thought. Look at that dark, dark, thick application though. This one doesn't seem like it's gonna be very shading, but we'll see. Look at that, it's just like, that's not pink to me, I'm gonna be honest. Um, see Merlot was one of the first wines I I kind of got into because that's what my mom liked and so you know you would be like mom or you know did I yeah I suppose I did really and the very first were like Beaujolais because it's an easy wine to drink not very tannic and so on Usually people then go to like a Pinot, Pinot Noir, which I like, but no, I, I had to go to Merlot. Maybe not super shady for any of them, but like, look at these. Okay. <clears throat> now we're mixing it up. And we're going, we're crossing a different ocean this time. <clears throat> With Sailor Shikiori Sakuramori. Dai ink, made in Japan. So first we had inks from England, now an ink from Japan. Wow, there's like all sorts of stuff in here. Oh, look at those. How pretty. Do I have any of those? Oh, this has the the sound of rain. I love those. Putsu putsu. Hara hara. Za za. And shito shito. Shito shito was beautiful. I remember that. All right. So we're just going to call this. Sakura Mori. I think I got you said you had to burn it already. I gotta go get the lighter. Okay. Put this off.
a almost a letter. But I got there. And you can hardly tell. No one will know except for you and me. Shh. <laughs> This one is going to shade for sure. I just hope it's not too light. I think if it, if it is, we just, you know, put it in a, a fatter nib or a juicier nib. This may be good with my Newton pen. Not sure. It's in the other room. Oh, this is so delicate and pretty. Stop. It's so like, yeah, girly, you know, whatever that means. But we all have connotations. I'm going to say it doesn't mean that only girls can use something, but it still can be stereotypically girly. Um. It's kind of funny that I just don't really have anything in this family. Or didn't until now when I have an abundance of it. Hmm, that Merlot is shading though. A little more here. Mm -hmm. Oops, got a little water on the table. Pleasing sound. Same, same side of the ocean, we have wearing bowl, floating cloud. I love that they put the Pantone. I looked into buying those Pantone things. Whew, they are pricey, hundreds of dollars. And you get, there's two different ones, one for textiles, one for print um floating cloud right Maria Oh, oh, did you hear that? That was horrible. Oh, that felt as bad as it sounded. This is awful. Everything, not everything about that, Maria. That is, oh, we forgot to cross the T. Flowing, floating. What? 
misplacing everything. I was watching a documentary before this on, I don't know, some kind of murdery thing, I think. I just like, oh my God, I did. I spaced. Just, I'm, this is it. This is your disordered brain. It's okay. Oh, this is a lovely color. This reminds me of like Tsutsuji plus water. Oh, I love it. I'm like just piling them all around me. I have more ink than will fit on this one page. So I'm like sitting here also thinking how how are we going to deal with that, Maria? I think part of the reason I tend to like do the wrong thing like write the wrong thing with these is because I'm like writing too slow. My brain is like moved on. You know, it's like, oh, are you still doing that? That was so 10 minutes ago. Some of you are like that too, I know. Oh no, contaminated. Contaminated. Oh, so beautiful. I am so pleased with these selections. I mostly not sure about that pink. And the funny thing is, someone I saw someone destashing it today. I was like, well, too late. Okay, the last in our pink adventure is. Kobe ink. And this is number 30, which was like OG cherry blossom. I wish I had that thing still because I can't look it up on my phone. Heavy sigh. I asked the monster in the corner of the room and it started to go off on a tangent, but it is cherry. So I'm gonna write cherry. I'll write number 30 cherry. I'm not writing anything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> everything go. I'll do this. You have to be quick about it. Maybe not as quick as I just was, because if you take too long, what will happen is you will like sort of temper it. And that's the wrong thing. Look at how vibrant that is. This is another one that is almost fluorescent to me. I 
wonder if it breaks into a fluorescent pink and some other stuff. Be worth checking out. Kobe. Tell you what's nice about this bottle so far. It seems unlikely to tip. Oh God, why did you say that out loud, Maria? Oh, why did I say that out loud? That is like fluorescent. Yeah, I think it is. Cherry. Trying to make sure to not contaminate these little X's is kind of difficult. Not gonna lie. I knew some of these might be similar. This is my first bottle, likely to be only bottle of um, Kobe ink. They make some really pretty stuff, but they're pricey. And I really don't need more ink. <clears throat> Here's some words, 30. So at first blush, I thought that this was gonna be very close to pink, but it looks like they're not, which I'm happy about. Um, I really like this floating cloud a lot the swatch for the writing. I like all of them except pink is my least favorite. I think, I don't know why I got it, but I have two more inks to swatch. I don't think we're going to do them in the, um, Hobonichi cause they won't dry. That won't dry in time for me to turn the page. So we have two more. And I think one of them is basically like the fourth bottle I have in this color. Um, so, I mean, it looked different online, okay? Nobody's attacking you, Maria. Calm down. This is Havasu. Turquoise. <laughs> it 
the water was a bright, bright pink, as you might imagine. And now it is not. <laughs> kind of funky. So. I do have in the Hobonichi one of the colors that I think is similar to this one. So we'll see if I can, if, it, if the other one dries enough to at least turn to that page, we'll do that. Um, I just don't. Like, okay, I recognize that it's named turquoise and I have two inks named turquoise, but the stone turquoise doesn't look like the inks I have that are called turquoise. And I thought since this was like referencing a stone, I hope you understand that this was unintentional and a surprise. I continue to be surprised by buying the same color and over and over and over and over, but why. And lastly, Eau de Nil. Um, Of all people who knows how O is spelled. I don't even know what I was writing. Okay? Please don't ask. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so disappointed in myself. It's fine. It's just a swatch card. Ugh. The one thing I found out is that my swatch, these coloring cards are just a little too long for the uh, Warringle swatch notebooks that I got. So I might buy some more swatch cards that are the Warringle ones. I have some, but I don't have a lot. Um, Which won't be altogether bad because it's a different paper. The other thought I had was I could cut some of my Tamoa River into pieces. Cut my Tamoa River into pieces. That is my last resort. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I make some make swatches out of that. I did that um, for the very first increment that I had, which was, I think, year two. And I actually glued them all to the back of my um, swatch, my coloring cards. But this would allow me to put them in that thing. The one problem with doing that is eventually I will run out of that OG 52 GSM Tamoy River paper, and then what? And then what? So I could either do Tamoy River or I could do Cosmo or Snow. Where does that get us? So this Eau de Nil is life. I love it and it is beautiful and it makes my heart sing. Kind of reminds me of Thalo Blue. Do you notice I say that about pretty much every blue that I love? Yeah, I notice it too. This is still wet. We put way too much ink on here. And by we, I mean you did. It was you. How dare you? Okay, just kidding. Obviously it was me. Should we, should we blot? Blot. Just a little. Just a little blot. Okay, we blotted. Oh, hey, look. Almost everything they come up looked like red. Okay, so that is so vibrant. And it's almost going... Um, Sheeny. Okay, 
so the color that I think that one looks like is turquoise. <laughs> Y'all. <sighs> So now I guess I have five bottles of ink that are about this color. Maybe I'll send one to Pete. Oh wait, Pete already has one of those bottles because it's Sailor Michigan. Um, oh, he might be done y'all. He might be escaping the work. I'm very happy. So we'll take a last look at all these things. Then we swatched, we zoom out. Everything's a mess. How dare I? Um, they're not in the right order, but I'm, they're in the order I want them to be in, so it's fine. What do we think? These are all very unlike one another, right? <laughs> Here we are. There. Perfect. Perfect. Do you have a favorite of these? Let me know. Look at that does not look like Claret. But I love the color. Anyway, hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.